Hi everyone, my name is Kay Kaltoff and welcome to a Stamping to Share video. Today I'm going to share with you how to create this really darling gift box. It's The gift box has nothing to it. It's one of the tag -a bag gift boxes on page 158 of the 2013-14 annual catalog. What makes it cute, of course, is the paper wrap, the um, Chalk Talk gift card or gift tag, and then the ribbon and even the little jewel on the ribbon. So I'm going to show you how to put this together today. The box is really very slick. It's already pre-scored. All you do is before you set it together, you just want to make sure that all of your score lines are nice and folded. And then the way that I set it together is I, I put this um, trough part in first, and then I go ahead and I close up the side pieces. Those are the smaller flaps. And then I set the larger flap with the tuck-in fold, just like this, and push it down, and it tucks in just like that. And so it's ready to go. It's a nice, sturdy box. It also comes with these plastic sleeves that fit over the top of the box. Again, it's pre-scored. You just um, unfold it, and it's ready to be slipped over the top of your box, just like this. And it's, and it's ready to go. You can fill it with treats, put some shred in there, and a nice gift. And then the next thing that I did is I went ahead and I got a piece of the frosted, um, what is it, Winter Frost Designer Series paper, and I cut it at three and a half inches by ten inches. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm just going to slip it around my box and kind of bring it all the way around to the back. And you'll see that there isn't a lot to spare, but there's enough to spare that I can get some glue on there and, and hold that down. So what I'm going to do now is just crease, just manually go through and crease these edges to fit the, the shape of my box. And then we'll do this last one over here. And then to have, and you want the sleeve loose enough so that it can be slipped on and off, but yet tight enough that it just doesn't fall off all the time. So it's kind of a fine line there. So now you're just going to take a little bit of glue. And again, the less glue you use, actually, the quicker and tighter it will hold. So I just put a little bit of glue on, and now it's ready to go. So the next thing to do is to get a piece of our... We have some Whisper White Organza ribbon, and I'm actually going to put it so that the, the top of the ribbon comes together in the front of the box. I'm going to take my paper piercing tool with the mini glue dot, and that is going to be set right on top of my on top of the end ribbon here. Then I'm just going to slip the rest of the ribbon right over the top, and the mini glue dot will hold that very securely. Then I'm going to take um, one of my scissors and I'm just going to cut this ribbon off right here at an angle. And then that part is done. And the reason I'm putting it to the top is because when I put my bow on here after my tag is done, that hides whatever seam there might be. Alright, so let's go ahead and work on the tag. And we are just going to ink up this tag from the Chalk Talk stamp set and we're going to set it right over the top of this Whisper White paper just a scrap and take it off inked, it's inked very beautifully I use the Smoky Slate ink and then we're going to bring the Big Shot into the picture I'm just going to set this right here and I am using the magnetic plate today so we're going to set the the tag that has not yet been cut out right on top of one of the cutting plates and then we're going to use our Chalk Talk Framelit set and I'm going to use this great big tag right here it fits around here perfectly and you'll notice that because of the magnetic plate this tag just grabs right on so we can just center this in and put the no cut plate right over the top and then we'll run it through the Big Shot machine. Alright, and just like that we have it cut to our dimensions around the tag perfectly. And then we just pop out this center piece
just like that. There you go. And we're going to bring the box back into the picture and we are going to add our bow. So let's go ahead and put a mini glue dot onto the bow. We're going to position our tag right over the top of where the ribbon comes together and then add the bow right to that center piece there, just like that. And now we have a nice loose and flowing tag. We have the bow that's securing it. And then I like to just decorate this up with one of our rhinestones. So I'm just going to take my paper piercing tool and I can position that rhinestone right over the top of the ribbon. And we have a beautiful box ready to fill with shred and gifted. We'll talk to you soon. Have a great day and thanks so much for stopping by Stamping to Share. Bye-bye.